We know the Capitol's a great building, but what makes it unique? Let's get the 411. George, George, everywhere. Greek temple architecture. The state's oldest library. Carefully balanced stairs. Capitol rocks. Three men and a horse. And you. Wow, that's a lot. Let's take them one at a time and start with our curiosity about George. George, George, everywhere. Come to the Capitol and you can see George Washington four times. George Washington was the rock star politician of his day. He was popular all around the world. Our statue of George shows him in a Roman general's uniform because the Italian sculptor Antonio Canova believed that showed him as a strong military leader. The governor's office has a bust of George Washington as a general before he was president. Look for it on your next visit. Our painting of George Washington was the first artwork purchased by the state of North Carolina and one of only three things saved from the fire of 1831. Now let's talk about Greek temples. The state capitol includes many design elements taken from ancient Greek temples, including its shape, Greek keys, decorative columns, and a crown of honeysuckle or anthemion on its dome. Why Greek architecture? Great question! In the early years of America, ancient Greece was very popular because it was the birthplace of many ideals used to create our American democracy. Many public buildings include design elements from ancient Greek temples as a way to connect back to that history. Architects found those designs in pattern books. Hey, speaking of books, that takes us to the next cool thing. The state's oldest library. North Carolina's first public library was housed in the original Capitol that burned in 1831. When the new Capitol was built in 1840, architects made room on the third floor for a new state library. According to legend, so many people had books checked out at the time of the fire that when the new library reopened in 1840, everyone returned their books nearly filling these shelves. Now the state library is located at the Archives and History Building, just a block away from its original home here at the Capitol. Now, let's go downstairs. carefully balanced stairs. What's so cool about these stairs? Well, for one thing, each of these stairs is carefully hand carved and fitted together with the other stairs. And another, there's no mortar or cement holding these stairs together. The only things holding them together are gravity and some really good math skills. While we're here, let's go back upstairs. And look at a cool room that rocks. Capital Rock. In 1840, North Carolinians were still learning all about their state. In 1853, Governor Reed hired a state geologist, Ebenezer Emmons, to survey the state and find out what rocks and minerals we had and how we could use them. Today, you can see the state geologist's office on the third floor of the Capitol. Now let's go outside. Excellent. Three men and a horse. Our statue, Three Presidents North Carolina Gave the Nation, is probably our most popular. Do you know who these men are? Andrew Johnson. James K. Polk. Andrew Jackson. Great! Each of these men is originally from North Carolina, and each of them served as President of the United States. And the horse, he probably gets more attention than anyone on the square. <laughs> the best thing about the state capital is... You! you! By far the most important thing about the state capitol is you. When you come down and visit us on Capitol Square, you become part of our history as well. Come visit us soon. We'll see you on the square. <laughs>